guys, it's Dave Nerone out here in Langley, British Columbia at the ABS Avalanche Airbag Backpack Factory and today we're going to show you why this ABS Avalanche Backpack is the number one backpack in the industry. The first thing we're going to talk about today is the nitrogen filled canister that ABS uses. We use nitrogen because it's an inert gas and it's not affected by environmental conditions. This means that your airbags will fill fuller and cleaner at any altitude. Next in the ABS system is the pyrotechnic pneumatic pull handle. This replaces what every other airbag uses, which is a cable that can stretch, rust, or snap. We stopped using cables 10 years ago in the ABS system and we now use a 22 caliber charge that inserts into the coupling and charges the bag. This can be taken out or put back at any time, therefore lessening accidental blow-offs. It only requires a two mil pull uh, to set off the bag. You always want to make sure that you install your bottle first and then, and only then, install the handle. This eliminates having an accidental blow-off dry fire with just the handle and no bottle. You can damage vital parts of the airbag, which can be replaced, you just don't want to do it. So remember, always install your bottle first, and then your handle. After you install the handle, you pull this piece down and move this Velcro safety system over the handle. This eliminates an accidental blow off. However, when you move into avalanche terrain or into the backcountry, you move this piece over and now you have easy access to pull the trigger. Likewise, at the end of the day or at lunch or when you're not in avalanche terrain, you can move this back over and therefore eliminate accidentally blowing off the bag. Next, we're going to talk about the airbags in the ABS avalanche backpack system. This is one of the airbags that pops out from the side when the bag is set off. Both bags total 170 liters, the largest in the industry. You'll also notice when the bags are out of the side, you can still see everything around you. You can ski, snowboard, or snowmobile without being restricted, which is really, really important. Also, one bag is enough to float you. The reason why we have two in the system is to back itself up. Is if one is damaged due to hitting a tree or sliding over rocks, you still have one bag because they work independently that keeps you afloat. Very important. And all the airbags on the market use the canister to only fill the bags one third. The rest of the air is drawn in through a venturi system from the outside air. These also have scrubbers on them so no snow or water can be sucked into the bag. It is also important to note that no airbag will protect you from trauma. ABS uses the strongest material in the industry for its bags, but the only way to protect yourself from trauma is to wear the right gear like a helmet or other body protection. One other advantage of using the ABS system is that the base unit comes as a, just that, a base unit and you purchase packs separately that can be zipped in and out of the base unit. This is the SB15, the snowmobile specific 15 that allows you to have your shovel on the outside. And this is our Vario 15 liter which has two main pockets which are large enough for one wet gear and dry gear and it also zips in. You can choose from a 5 or 15 SB or a 15, 25 or 40 liter packs. This is essential if you're into day trips and you're using a 15 liter pack and then you want to do an overnight or a longer trip or you're using it for a different sport like skiing or snowboarding and you need to carry skins and extra jackets, you can then zip your 15 liter out and zip a 40 liter in, making it the most advantageous system on the market and the most useful for all the different sports that you're going to do in the backcountry. Right, well now we're going to show you how to set off your ABS backpack. First and foremost you're going to put your pack on, attach the aluminum buckle, it also has a sternum strap which has a handy whistle right here and don't forget your leg loop that keeps the pack on if you are involved in a violent avalanche. You're going to take your handle out of the pocket. I like to keep it here when it's not in use. 
engage it in the coupling, put your safety on, and then as you move into avalanche terrain, you're going to move this around to here, therefore the bag is ready to be used. If you do feel any whooping, cracking, or snow moving, don't wait to see how big it is, whether you're skiing or snowboarding or snowmobiling, pull the bag. It's easy to replace the handle and cartridge, an easy refill. All right, so we're gonna set off this bag right now. As you can see, both airbags are fully inflated and I can still ski, snowboard, or snowmobile around with the bags inflated. In fact, it's so light, I hardly feel that the bags are even there. Now that the bag has been set off, it's actually really e quick and easy to reset this bag. All you need to do is lift the red tab on here and let the air out of the bags. They then fold back into the pockets, take our expended canister, pull out your handle. This red tab shows you that the handle has been used. You return your canister and handle to an ABS dealer and they will replace it with a refilled canister and handle for a $40 nominal fee. Well, there you have it. That's a little bit about the ABS system. If you have any questions, make sure you check out your local dealer and have a safe winter out there.